Hello everyone. So today I'm going to solve one of the problems from homework two. Um, this is problem number 236 and the question is specifically asking to calculate I delta and V out, I guess. Uh, yes, in, in this circuit. But like I explained to you, it's really not a question of what is being asked. You basically approach uh, any of these kind of problems exactly the same way uh, the objective is to analyze the circuit and there's an algorithm for, for it and you're going to follow that algorithm so uh, in order to do that we know that the first step is to identify all the uh, nodes in the circuit so we will start by doing exactly that uh, down here all of these uh, components are connected to each other with a piece of wire so this is all one node uh, this is another node this is another node this is another node and finally this is the last node in the system so there are five nodes that you can identify uh, next is uh, to label uh, the nodes so down here I'm going to choose this as my ground and this has been a question many times your choice of ground is arbitrary and it is not going to change any of the currents that you calculate in the circuit but the value the uh, of the potentials that you calculate for the nodes is going to be different obviously because you're choosing a different reference but that doesn't uh, change anything substantially in the circuit so uh, I'm going to choose down here this is my ground or zero volts then up here you can call it V1 uh, but I'm going to use the equation for this component to actually calculate that voltage right here and the equation for this component goes like this this voltage whatever you want to call it V1 minus 0 is equal to 12 so v1 is actually 12 and therefore i'm going to immediately call this node 12 volts and this is going to reduce the number of equations that i'm going to uh, write i can do the same here this time this voltage down here minus this voltage so 0 minus this voltage is 8 volts and therefore when you write it this immediately turns out to be minus 8 volts uh, then I'm going to call this one V1. I'm going to call that V2. And uh, now starting with the currents. So if there are current source, we know that the current for a current source is the value given. So we're going to start by doing exactly that. This current right here is 8 times I delta. And I delta is this current already defined in the circuit. So you're, the, the labels that are defined on the circuit you're not supposed to change them you're just going to stick to that now when it comes to the current here you can immediately write the kcl for that node and as a result the current that goes here is automatically eight times i delta because the current going into this node is equal to the current coming out of that node and then uh, the current here uh, and here would have the same situation because the current going into this node is equal to that current going out so I'm going to call them the same thing I1 is my choice uh, then this current right here I'm going to choose I2 the current passing through the 2 ohm is I sigma we're going to keep that and now all the components in the circuit also have a current that is properly labeled so at this point we are done with uh, labeling the circuit we're going to move on to writing the equations now uh, so we're going to do kcl so kcl is written for nodes let's count the number of nodes there's one two three four five nodes in the circuit now uh, for this node i already did the kcl and that's how i assume that these two currents are the same uh, also for this node I did the KCL so there are three nodes left these two nodes and the node down here 
for the ground node you don't have to do kcl so i'm going to start from node v1 write kcl for that node currents going into that node are i1 so i1 is going in current leaving that node is i delta and i2 so i delta plus i2 uh, for the node V2, current going in is I2. And the currents leaving are I sigma and 8 times I delta. Now we move on to equations for components. Okay, so uh, again... There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven components in the circuit. Uh, I use the equation for this component to call that 12 volts. I use the equation for this component to call this node minus 8 volts. And therefore, there are only one, two, three, four, five components left to write equations for. We're going to start from left. For this component, it's a source, voltage source. So the equation goes like this, 12 minus V1 is 2 times I sigma. So 12 minus V1 is equal to 2 times I sigma. For this one, again, it's a voltage source. So V1 minus V2 is equal to 8 times I sigma. Uh, this one is a current source. That one actually we already did the, uh, the current for that. Uh, the equation for it is basically this current is equal to I delta, but we already used that. So I was wrong. We actually did three equations for components already. So next are these two resistors, and uh, that should be it for this resistor. Uh, I delta is equal to V1 uh, minus 0 over 5 ohm can you just leave it as 5 and then finally for uh, the 2 ohm I sigma is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 2 this concludes all the equations uh, for the circuit and from this point on we can start doing the uh, math okay so from these two you can quickly actually remove i2 by just putting this equation in that equation you get i1 is equal to i delta plus I sigma plus 8 times I delta so this becomes 9 times I delta plus I sigma so from down here now you can actually start uh, calculating uh, I sigma as a function of V1 and V2 and that that way you can relate them to each other so right here we can see that uh, v2 is equal to 2 times i sigma so 2 times i sigma i can replace that but v2 so that would be 12 minus v1 is equal to v2 at this point I just replaced two times I sigma there and uh, from uh, this one also I know that two times so v1 minus v2 eight times I sigma would be four times v2 so this one gives me v1 is equal to 5 times v2 I can put that here I get 6 times v2 is equal to 12 which immediately gives me v2 
being 2 volts and that is going to give me V1 10 volts from this point on I can calculate everything so from this one for example now I know that uh, I delta is equal to 10 divided by 5 that's 2 amp and uh, now from this one uh, I delta I sigma is equal to V2 divided by 2 uh, V2 is 2 and that's 1 amp uh, now using these I can calculate I1 uh, 9 times I delta is 18 and plus I sigma 1 is 19 amp and from this one I2 is I sigma which is 1 plus 8 times I delta uh, which is 16 and that's 17 amp now the question is also asking to calculate all the powers for all the components so the power for the 12 volt source and the current I1 is going into the negative terminal so a negative sign with the 12 uh, the voltage across it times the current that is passing through it which is I1 I1 is 19 so that times 19 is the power uh, for that component so that's minus uh, 190 and 38 which is minus 228 I think watts uh, the power for that source right here uh, power of the 2i sigma the current is entering the positive terminal so that would be uh, i1 times 2i sigma I sigma is 1 amp so that would be 2 volts times the current I1 which is 19 so that's 38 watts uh, I delta the 5 the power of the 5 ohm uh, the voltage across it is V1 minus 0 so it's V1 and that's 10 and times the current I delta passing through it I delta is 2 so that would be times 2 so that's 20 watts uh, the power for the source 8 I sigma is 8 times I sigma or V1 minus V2 are the same thing so V1 minus V2 is 8 volts the current entering the positive terminal I2 is 17 so 8 times 17 times 7 56 5 136 watts and the power for the, the second resistor the 2 ohm the power for the 2 ohm resistor is uh, V2 which is 2 or V out which is 2 minus 0 by the way V out is so if the question is asking for V out I could have actually label v2 directly v out because v out is defined as v2 minus zero so v out is also two volts uh, it could have been a, it would have been a good idea to actually label v2 as v out directly because v out is v2 minus zero so anyway two volts times i sigma which is one amp and that's 2 watts the power for the 8 uh, if, uh, let's actually do this one power for uh, t 
the power source 8 volts. Uh, the current this time is entering the negative terminal, so minus 8 times 8 times I delta, that's uh, 16. So this one is also generating power. 6. Minus 128 watts. And finally the current source. The power of 8. I delta current source. So now V2 is uh, 2 volts. And then on the other side you have minus 8 volts. So the current is going into the positive terminal because this is the higher potential. Uh, so this is positive 8 times I delta is uh, 16 times the voltage across it is 2 volts minus minus 8 which is 2 minus minus 8 which is uh, basically plus 8 so that's 10 so that's 160 watts positive that is being consumed now if you add up all the positive powers it has to add, a, add up to become equal to all to the negative powers so let's just check that out I'm going to call it P absorbed and add up all the positive numbers. So 136 plus 2 plus 20 plus 38. So 238 is 40, uh, 60. So that is 160 down here also that's 160 sorry uh, so that's 40 60 uh, 220 320 356 so that's 356 watts all the uh, positive values and then power uh, supplied or uh, delivered, whatever you want to call it, let's say supplied. S is equal to minus 228 uh, minus 128. So and that has to become the same thing and it does minus 356 watts. You know, add it up becomes equal to zero. That concludes all of our calculations. Hopefully that has been helpful. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.